So now I'm gonna tell you about what is in my hospital bag. This is my little hospital bag. I think it was like $10 at Ross. When Ross was still open. <laughs> first thing is first, I am packing two underwear and four socks because of the possible length of stay and not being able to leave. I'd rather have too much and not enough. So I have these, they're ginormous <laughs> because you need something to fit the mattress you're going to be sitting on when you go home. These have always done the job in the past. So I have two of those. I may go home wearing the little mesh netted ones. Maybe, maybe not. But I really just want to be comfortable. So we'll see what happens. And then I have four socks, which again, might be enough, might not be enough, whatever. <laughs> And then um, bras slash sports bras. I don't think I'm gonna pack any regular bras just cause they don't look big here, but I have like really big boobs. So <laughs> yeah, the underwire is not really comfortable. They're not minimizing sports bras. They're not like um, high impact. They're just like regular, like supportive, but not like smothering sports bras. So I have that I wanted to have four of those. And right now I currently have three packed. So let me just show you these. These are made by No Boundary. They're kind of like a seamless bra. It's not like a racer back. It's more like a tank top back. It does have a little insert, which is kind of annoying, but I'm sure I could probably take it out. I don't know if you can see in case anyone's trying to find it. Um, I think these were on clearance for like $7, so I got two and actually never even tried them on for the longest, but then I finally used the red one the other day and it was so comfortable. It felt like I wasn't even wearing a bra. I wish I could be one of those people that can go without a bra, but I get so itchy. My skin is crazy sensitive. So I have those three. I still need to pack one more. And then I have loose shirts, sweatpants, or PJs, four of each. Obviously, I don't need four PJs and four sweatpants, so that was kind of like an accumulative thing. I don't have a lot of clothes in the aspect of comfy loungewear, so I kind of pack things that would be okay if I wore at the hospital, but these are not my first choices. It's just kind of something to have an emergency. Now that we're getting closer, I've been trying to like order extra yoga pants on Amazon. I probably will be exchanging some of these out, but right now I have my Julius PJs, Target PJs that are see-through, but at that point, what do you care? And then these, which really aren't that comfortable. Actually, wait, aren't these my husband's? <laughs> these are my husband's, now that I think about it. These need to go in his bag. Okay, so <laughs> that's funny. But yeah, these are both super comfortable. Some people just choose to stay in the gown while they're in the hospital. In the past, I've had C-sections. They didn't really check me down there so they're just checking my c-section area out of the four or five days i think i did wear some type of loose fitting pajama or sweatpant at least two of those days maybe again it's nice to have um, especially if i get itchy i can't shave or if i don't feel like shaving but i don't want to be itchy and i just need some type of barrier in between my legs when i lay in bed so that i'm not scratching the life out of me some people really won't find a need to even have any other clothes except for the clothes they come in and the clothes they go home in and that's okay too but i definitely think that i need to exchange some of the pants that i have here for yoga pants that i have upstairs next i have again the place that we met the hoodie for pictures you probably heard about that in the what is in my husband's hospital bag video and then i have my chanclas this is more or less just to walk around the room or um, mainly to take a shower in so that there's no like direct contact on my feet. I do have slippers like pantuflas. <laughs> I use them daily. So that might be something else that I'll put on my last minute list to just kind of remember to grab as we go. But if for some reason I forget, I have these, I have like these slipper socks with the little grippies on the bottom that I never used. Um, and then I ordered these on Amazon. I actually put them in my registry to get the discount. They have the little grippies too. And they're just kind of like socks. They're, they're made by a company called New Foot. And I totally thought that they were very, very different. <laughs> I thought they were much like the slippers that I have upstairs that I wear all the time, but they're not. <laughs> but hopefully it's okay. And then I have these that I got at Ross for Dollar. I love sales. And they're Christmas slippers and it is 
May and I am doing June. I don't care. I love penguins. <laughs> so I just need to basically go through these, figure out which one I'm going to vote off of the island. These have like nice comfy fleece or Sherpa inside. So they're pretty cute. And again, they have like snowflake grippies on the bottom, so I'm not sliding all over the hospital room. But once I can narrow some of these down, I really only need one, but if I have a spare, it's not the end of the world, but I definitely don't need three. And then I have my old faithfuls upstairs in my room. So I have a lot of loose shirts here. Here, I have a spaghetti strap tank top that's folded just for like easy access with nursing. All the shirts that I've chosen are v-neck. I'm chubby, so I don't like to lift up my shirt from the bottom to nurse. I definitely always pop out from the top. That's just easier for me. So I packed a lot of v-necks. These are just like really old, old navy shirts, like actually old and from old navy. <laughs> and then I have like a, a shirt that has like some gemstones on it. It's not necessarily intended to be like me dressing up while I'm at the hospital, but that could be like a coming home outfit with my very elegant yoga pants. Another Old Navy v-neck shirt, and this is kind of like a dress shirt, but it's super, super soft, very loose fitting, and it's probably the most comfortable shirt that I've packed out of all of these. Again, it's kind of like the same thing. I don't have a lot of loungewear shirts that I can rotate through, so I think like once I know that like I'm getting close, so there's only so many days left, I'll probably just go through my closet and exchange some of these for things that I'd rather wear. <laughs> and then I also have the flip flops that I showed you. And I live in Uggs. I don't care if it's May, June, July, August, 20 degrees or 100 degrees. I love my Uggs. <laughs> They're so easy. I can't bust with putting sneakers on right now with this thing getting in the way. <laughs> So it's just easier for me to kind of slide my foot in and pull it up. So that is what I am bringing in my bag. Again, it could sound excessive to some of you, but I'd rather have and not need than need and not have. <laughs> so thank you for watching. The next segment is going to be what is in baby's bag.